Ah, uh, well, here we are. Covert Uranium Basin. Can we see that in there? Right, that's... That's where we are <clears throat> with the bus. And uh, that pin there is just a little bit past where the duck pond is. And we'll just zoom in a little. There you go. That's the duck pond, right? That, that, that's right where we sit all the time on them rocks. Yeah. That's me there, the bus. So, that's not why I'm showing you this, but <clears throat> you're all familiar with this, and that's the big, the big hill. That's Seacrest Road, the steep road. The reason I'm showing you this is the other nearby associated deposits. This, of course, is all <coughs> up in the uh, White Lake Basin, so it's uh, it's it's a good deal higher elevation than where I am. Uh, and so, what are we talking there? Uh, it's about four kilometers. Of course, by road, it's a little longer, but. <coughs> So you can see how it's all scattered about. If we kept going out, I haven't got the other pins on. But uh, if we go up here, is uh, there's OK Falls and there's Penticton and there's some more known deposits here that were uh, one of them was studied well. And then of course, if you go. There's, ah, that's a big one there in Marion Valley. Oop, and we're at uh, Penticton here, or Kelowna. And uh, where's our, well, I can't see it here, but there's another. <clears throat> this used to be volcanoes, not nearly as old rock. And I guess uh, there's uh, quite a bit more in this area here. Highway 3. Just uh, going east of Kelowna. And many, many, many more that haven't been discovered. More than likely. So, yeah. Let's just back out here. Just in case. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff that's been um, changed, altered, and monkeyed. They're spending big money on it. <coughs> on countering them. Um, any meaningful words getting out, you know, data change corruptors, they change things and mimic uh, documents and stuff like that and spread a lot of disinformation and then, you know, discredit everyone. Man, they must be spending a lot of fucking money to the advertisers and the, the paid shill industry and the false information complex and uh, whatnot. <laughs> this, just preparing to deal with us must be cost gaping the fucking bottom line pretty wide to, to try and um, counter anyone trying to stand up for, you know, their survival, their existence, the existence of all the life on the planet. Oh, I can see this is going to be way too much clicking. We'll just, uh, we'll just go through it quickly. can stop, hit pause if there's anything you want to see. All the links will be below under the show more. We'll go through this quickly and you can just pause if you want to re read the information or go to the links assuming it hasn't been changed. There, that's where we are there. All these places are known, to, known uh, areas where it's like this. Uranium anthurium, and sometimes both. Like I say, that's just areas where, where it was noticeable enough to easily be detected in the uh, '70s, mid '80s. Because a lot of people spent a lot of money looking for 
Those are boils. On scroll here. Got quite a few to go through here, so. There's the uh, BC mine file numbers. If you want to look up any of these, that's your coordinates on the uh, uh, provincial mapping grid. I can't remember what they call it. I'll show you the page to go in through and put a link. If you want to check out your area for the, for the nearest uh, Radiationist. Oh, I did find a, all the town and municipality of Oliver did put out a little page in 2008 as, I don't know, somebody must have brought it to their attention or something. When they brought this uh, high uranium levels in the aquifer, in people's drinking water. Just uh, <clears throat> the studies that were done on a few of them, like the covert uh, uranium basin out back there, and what they figured after drilling test holes and testing the shit that came out of the hole. These ones are a little ways away. That's by Penticton, Skaha Reservation showing. That's up by Kamloops. I could say probably a boring read for most uh, uh, yeah this is the covert basin one and the uh, lake would be the duck pond would be somewhere around this uh, high outcropping where it's a thousand parts per million in there <coughs> because that's where the that, that's what I base. I know there's a little artesian well there, and that's what I base it on. It used to probably be the thermal well, bringing it up real hot. Like, super hot and steamy. To uh, a much lower level. That's only three meters, right? And the plants have removed the, the top a uh, couple of feet. Long since blowed it, you know went through the roots into the leaves and then the leaves break up on the surface out in the fall and slowly blow off. So, you know, probably for hundreds of years or thousands, it's been down to the, you know, not very low levels on the top couple feet of soil where the root layer is. Sucked it all out. Okay, here's Covert Basin. Of course, we've all seen this in my other videos, but... So the water's brought it up and concentrated into the uh, peat, lenses of peat in the swamp. Because that was an old uh, river oxbow too, eh? So, apparently. 
might be wrong about that though. It could have just been a lot more water flowing out of the uh, Sartesian well that was there in previous times when it was actually thermal. And that it could have actually been draining both ways. So I'm not convinced that that's an oxbow. But I haven't seen any old maps before they did the gravel road or anything, so I'm guessing. And Trout Lake, that's that one is a ways away, a little north. This is all going up mid province. But just in case this um, <clears throat> gets pulled off of the provincial site, I'm going to log it all anyhow. I know, I know, it's not a very efficient way, but... Tell you the truth, dealing with this reality is just too much. Not like I've had anything to spare since they started cutting me open a year ago. These are much deeper deposits. Because probably the way they wrote the bill in uh, a couple years back, where well, you can't file a claim on uh, uranium or thorium anymore, the actinides. Um, I would imagine above a certain level. I haven't uh, read the legislation yet. I imagine that means that they'll no longer be... The Ministry of Mines will no longer be obligated to... Uh, keep this information listed to the public. sure the nuclear industry will be putting lots of pressure on it in their pockets. It's not like a, the major, majority of key people were compromised before they got the position. That's why they were handed their, their venues and privies. And so I'll conduct these. get anywhere in the world that's gone racketed. Like being part of the racket and then you're not going anywhere, you're just keeping anyone else from going anywhere. That's what happened to Homo sapiens. Final downfall. Not saying it's impossible to turn it around. Just saying it's unlikely. There's very little will. That kook. That's so disgruntled. They 
just can't function in the world anymore. Knowing what they're contributing to. your website. And that's the page you want there. Ministry Edge Energy. Okay. Seen that before. They seem to change that about every year and a half just to keep everyone lost get really hard to to learn anything but <clears throat> it's not like we don't all know that about government websites This one's a pretty good read. Again, this was part of the big study in the 80s. That's um, apparently the official version, anyhow. It was all glaciated off of that uh, Kelowna deposit. Uh, volcanoes came up in volcanoes and that got glaciated northwest. <clears throat> I haven't read any other summaries or anything, so I've got no comment other than to say that's what they believe. There's a uh, good reason to believe that it was. Uh, Much more recent than that. Then that last glacial melt. And there's a culvert again. Right up there. on this. This is a duplicate. Much more important to know it is there and how not to get it inside you. Needless to say, everything they had linked to the Oliver site from 2008. Was, um... The most biased fucking crap you could find on the internet. Not a problem here. Just uh, don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. Just forget about everything. We'll uh, we'll do some new wells and <clears throat> hook you up to the city pipe and So how is it each of the neighbors have spoke to so far? Well, we had no idea. <clears throat> like, 
maybe you should be linking up the two databases between the uh, mineral and, and, and the, the tax roll or something. When you send out your yearly tax, you uh, put a reminder to, uh, there's uranium in your area, groundwater levels. Have you tested your water lately? It is your responsibility. Now, what would that cost to print on the bottom of the tax bill to the uh, flagged properties? No, that would be saving millions and hundreds or thousands of people from all kinds of problems. What, what is a kidney, a rack, a irradiated, uh, irradiated uh, kidney uh, cost the, the medical system? Between the, you know, the time you catch them and the five or ten years later when they die. Assuming they don't go for a kidney transplant. So just dialing them, what, what, what's, you know, what's that going to run a million dollars on that person? As opposed to had, they had an extra hundredth of a cent of fucking printer ink on their tax, property tax bill. They would have known to go spend 50 bucks, test their water, and do something about it. Just one more reason why this bullshit has got to stop. Which is already the case, because turns out you can only tax everything 100%. <laughs> and then you can't tax no more, so uh, what is it, Jabrinsky there uh, says? Uh, well, I've recalculated, uh, there's a slight uh, flaw in the uh, model of the uh, world economy. Uh, Trying to play it like you guys didn't know you built the system to collapse in. So there you go. All a bunch of trendy 21ists. Everything absolutely downplayed to the minimum. Very, very biased studies. <clears throat> you know, like they'll be talking about the uptake and they'll talk about the form of uranium in the organ that it, that it uptakes and does the least damage and then they won't talk about the other common forms of uranium. Or the organs that are most uh, susceptible. They'll just make it look like no, you know. Well, we, you know, we just we just didn't talk about the ionizing factor or the complexities of when, say, uranium peroxide uh, breaks down into various actinides and uh, goes and does completely different things that. Well, we never, you know, studied a cage of rats or, or rabbits. <clears throat> yeah. Right. So there are these tiny little in, insignificant studies that they quote on, you know, rats <laughs> and rabbits. How about all the soldiers you nuked and injected? And the prisoners you injected around the world? And the communities that you just, well, hey, we'll just watch what happens, you know, it's only... You know, it's only a thousand people. We'll just, we'll just watch what happens. We'll keep everybody compartmentalized so nobody knows a thing. That actually collects the data and, you know. And, and can't you just find this all in those uh, Agenda 21 manuals? Instructing everybody how to set up this kind of a system. Yeah, so joke on that, anyone that wants this, this fucking nonsense about too many people in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, uh, it's not even sheep shit.
parrot spit. <coughs> Think about what you're saying. Just turn so many people that that. Wait, you were given that meme says you wouldn't have to think about how fucked we are and, 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 you know, change? No, that's... Shutting your mind off is not dealing with things. Well, fuck it, the next generation. What next generation can deal with it? There ain't gonna be no next generations. Stop lying to ourselves. You gave us a lie and sent us on our way so we wouldn't have to think about what we were doing and not doing. Just nap out of it, people. Stop latching onto the nearest fucking piece of garbage that's fed your way. It says you can say, Me. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Who will? Who will? That's where it starts. That's the origin of the lie right there when you do that to yourself, people. That's how we fed the beast. All that's just modeled over the whole way that corporate beasts have light breathed into them. We participate and then we have to literally split our personality to deal with it. the parts that, that are in contrast so we can have peace of uh, peace and tranquility just be happy have some soma okay well, I'll just speed on by this no one's interested in this I can always pause it or go to the link find any of the studies that were on humans. You'll never, you'll never get the definitive studies. Lots of people are retired now and you're beyond reproach, so that we're actually in this industry. Think about it. too late to try and be responsible. There's much in this one.
Hey bear. There was the electricity. But that's the whole idea. Propaganda. Uh...